morning guys it's monday morning i'm about to head off to walk it's 6 40 woke up did my morning pages it's the first day that i'm doing the artist way which means i'm reading a book and then i'm also doing morning pages every single morning for 12 weeks and then i'm taking myself on one artist day date a week which i think i'm gonna do tonight like look at how cute i have flowers fresh flowers around the house right now um this week is just gonna be a nice week at home prepping for austin this weekend um it's gonna be good i'm trying some new things the artist way we're going on solo dates um there's a new boxing studio lots of things this week so anyways hope you guys enjoy um i'm gonna go work out so i will talk to you guys when i'm home first of course putting my eye mask on i'm meeting my dad on the trail too he's gonna be like what are you wearing <laughs> sorry actually he probably won't even say anything knowing him he'll be like okay oh wow oh my god i have so many eye masks and face masks in the fridge right now and like it's just no better feeling. I love it, amazing. Okay, well, I'm off. I've been doing a lot of walks lately, a lot of Pilates, and yeah, that's not shocking, I know. Good morning, guys. Super low maintenance. About to walk the trail this morning, waiting for my dad in the car. Here's my look, it's set active, ball of bangles. I mass ready to go. Hi guys, it's me later. Um I have been waiting all day. I've been working but there's just some people in and out of my house and then uh, so I had to like wait to record because today's a big podcast day. I'm sending in an episode um, all about like skincare, hormonal acne, adult acne, how to clear your skin, um, and just like skin health. Then I'm recording an episode for my 25th, which I've been talking about so much in the vlogs, but I am, I'm a really big birthday person for other people, which is kind of weird because this, nowadays this isn't really true, but I've always been a floater. Growing up, I was always a floater. I didn't really have, there were certain years I think where I had more established friend groups, but for the most part, I've had different friends and different friend groups. So for so long, I never had the opportunity to have like all my friends together because like they weren't all friends with each other. You know what I mean? Catch one of them. Um, I mean, they didn't like to dislike each other. They just like weren't friends. So my birthday was an excuse to just like, you know, get everyone together. Um, also, I'm an efficient person, like I like efficiency, and so it was really just annoying. Um, but now, I, I really do have like an established friend group, that's who I'm with all the time. I like birthdays, I normally love other people's birthdays, like I like throwing surprise parties, I like buying gifts, like my love language in giving is gift giving. But I'm also a very nostalgic person, so I love looking back on the year and being like, what did I learn? What can I take from this year? What can I do for next year? I like setting goals. Anyways, I got one all over the place. Long story short, people have been in and out of my house all day. Um, it's 1 p.m. I need to get these episodes sent in, and as soon as I go to record, like I guess the yard or the grass is getting mowed outside my house, it's classic. This is not a um, huge problem, but you know it's annoying me today. And whatever. Let's just like normally, it's fine to be annoyed. You know what I mean? It's okay. Like you'll be fine. I'm trying to see Hi if I can hear it. Hi Welcome back to the I Love You So Much podcast. podcast. I am your host, Kinsey Elizabeth. What do I have to give back to the world? Um, I think it's community, like giving people community. And then it's also making other people's worlds bigger. Hope you guys enjoyed this birthday episode. I love you all so much. And I will talk to you next week. We actually have a bonus episode going up on Monday. So stay tuned. Um, anyways, love you guys so much. And I will talk to you on a Monday. Something tragic is happening to me right now. So I have all these meals that I want to make this week, right? I went grocery shopping yesterday in my Sunday vlog. And um, I'm missing like one ingredient, like a vital ingredient of every single recipe that I have to make. So I'm just gonna like make do. Um, it is currently 4 p.m. I finished my work for the day. All I wanna do is finish my book. So I was talking, you know, some crap about um, the series that I was starting um, from Lucy Score, like the Sin Sainer, wait, what? Okay, the Sinner and Saint series. I just, I, 
Blah, 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 blah. Sorry guys. I just have to say, book number two really turned it around. I love it. I read over half of it last night and I'm going to finish it tonight. So Monday night at home, as we know, what do we do? We cook, we clean up, we finish work, we shower, we get in bed at like seven and read for the night and that is the plan. So I'm literally, it's 4 p.m. and I'm gonna make dinner now. Like that is actually my plan because I have some reading to do. I have important things to do. Um, and now I have to figure out what I'm gonna re eat, not read, eat, um, because of my lack of planning. Really poor Emily Mariko salmon bowl, minus the kimchi, minus the seaweed, which are the best parts of it. I did rice, salmon, sriracha mayo, and avocado. That's just what we had to do this for this. Um, we're, we're making do. Guys, I'm self-tanned. It looks really bad until tomorrow morning. Sun is out, and I have my Kindle and my smart sweets and my water next to me and my array little like sleep pills that Sif gave me when we recorded. Um, I've been trying them out, I like them a lot. They're like sleep pills, so I take them like 30 minutes to an hour before I wanna go to bed. But they don't have melatonin in it, which is what is important, so. Anyways, um, let's see what actually the time is. It is, uh, oh my god, it's 5, 19 p.m. I was thinking it was like seven. It's 5, 19 p.m. I've already eaten dinner, showered, I have self tan. I'm in pajamas in bed, huh? so hey, what are you gonna do? So I will talk to you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning, I'm back from my walk. I'm feeling so good. My pants are the Okine Dallas pants, the best pants ever. They're so flattering, they're so comfortable. They're 100% cotton, so I can wear them in like 105 degree heat and feel totally fine. Wearing a Skims bodysuit and then just got these shoes from Revolve. I had like a specific look that I wanted, but those shoes that I wanted were like $400 and I got these from Revolve for much lower than that, so I'll link them below. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna wear them like nonstop, like out with jeans, like even in the fall. I just think that they're like so cute. I'm very specific when it comes to sandals. I normally don't like them, but I think these are great. I've moved some things around here um, and I think I'm gonna get like a little table there and um, have one like sitting under the table. I need to redesign this coffee table and decide what I wanna put there. Um, but I think I'm liking this all better. I just like should have worked with an interior designer at the end of the day, but uh, here we are. I haven't done that. So anyways, that's going. Hopefully that will be out by soon and then things will come together. Um, but I'm feeling a little bit better. Stop by to get Starbucks on the way to the salon. Um, just to really, you know, make sure my sister loves me for the day and that we're not gonna argue. Um, really niche, and if your sister does your hair, you know, it's, you understand. I'm kidding, kind of. But anyways, got a tea and she got coffee. salon my hair looks so much better I went a little bit longer got new extensions um, started off getting extensions just for volume because I lost hair um, when I had COVID and then I was like you know what I kind of want to go longer my mom and sister have longer hair and I love it I look like my sister I really do um, my sister actually does my hair if you guys are in Dallas I go to her for color and extensions and then I go to Gus for haircut at global okay Wow it is hot. All right, I stopped home for like one second. I'm about to meet Lauren for a drink at Barcelona. They invited us in, making a TikTok. Um, I love Barcelona and apparently they have like $5 Swiss martinis during happy hour or something like that. I'm very excited, it's off, it's on Henderson. Great location. Anyways, this is the hair, I love it. Also, I feel like I can never wear my hair straight because I don't like how this inevitably like goes, you know, I don't know, the way it just, you know, I don't know. But I did get a pair of new pair of sneakers. I have been outrageous with shopping recently. Like I need to be stopped. I needed a good pair of white sneakers to just wear like every day with dresses, shorts, lounge stuff. Like I just thought these were perfect. They're New Balance and they were actually a really good price. So I will link them below. They kind of look big to me, but they aren't. So anyways, so cute. I will be wearing these all the time. Guys, we're 
my Barcelona wine bar. I have my mini espresso martini. So fabulous. Um, this was like $5, I'm pretty sure. How much? Seven. Crazy. It looks very good. Guys, we ordered bone marrow. I was not expecting this. I'm like actually really into it. Back home from the Barcelona happy hour. It was really good. Actually, tonight, one of my like childhood best friends, Maddie Trapp, if you all were like an OG YouTube watcher, she's even who like showed me YouTube in the first place. She's coming over to sleep over. We're catching up. So I'm about to make her dinner when she gets here. But give me y'all a little haul, if you will. Oh, weird. This shop's weird. I got a few dresses because I'm going to Nantucket in a few weeks. I thought this was cute. A nice little airy, like, floral dress. And then I also got this white one that's just kind of like a classic for everything. Like, this is super easy. The only issue is, like, what do you do when you tan? You know what I mean? Like, has anyone solved that issue? If you self-tan, like, obviously I know <laughs> a natural tan, but not all of us get those. So, like, there needs to be something that we need a new invention is what I'm getting at. Um, okay, next. Oh, I got new swimsuits. Oh, wow. I got these from Aero Swim. Like, so cute. I actually love the print. Cute. Okay, look, I don't know if this is going to fit my boobs. Like, I'll have to try that tomorrow. The actual, like, Aero is supposed to be really good for girls with large chests, so we'll see. Um, okay, this top, same thing. I don't know if it's going to fit. Maybe this one will. I feel like maybe. But it's cute because it has that detailing. And the top, wait, sorry, the bottoms have these knots which I thought were cute. So I'm gonna try these on and see. I'll keep you posted on how I feel. It is hot out. So I'm gonna make dinner, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I have training at 7 a.m. So, wow, we're really keeping up. I have a really bad headache because of my extensions and it's like driving me crazy. guys i've been ice rolling it's 6 35 i just did my morning pages i've had literally nothing to write about the past two days um so that's been rough sometimes you just like wake up too early and i wake up i have nothing on my mind which is so nice because when you're going through like a breakup or whatever you know when you like wake up with that pit i used to have so much to write you know and now i'm just you know I, i'm not even in a healthy thing i just am keeping myself single because i just cannot go through that again however it would help my morning pages so maybe i should consider it anyways i'm drinking coffee here we are i'm about to head off to work out to train with london i'm gonna take y'all along but um i'm using my like teletie thing today and i want to see if it like doesn't leave a crease in my hair you know but anyways, I just have so much hair right now. It's so fun. Wow. You know when you like have so much energy, but you're also so tired? It only happens to me late at night and early in the morning. Also, I'm reading, I started Jennifer Hillier's newest thriller. And I'm not sold. I'm like 20% of the way in. And she's my favorite thriller writer. So I hope it turns around. I can only imagine it will. But I'm not sold as of right now. So I'll keep y'all posted. I'm whispering because Maddie's upstairs. There's my outfit, set active, set active, shorts, my Land Rover crew. I'm so excited for sweatshirt weather. Like, oh my God, I will be so happy.
so I did training this morning. It was really tough. Um, I work out a lot, but it doesn't matter how often you work out or if you're like in relatively like good shape. When you start a new workout, you're like dying, you know? So, um, I trained with London. I will have her Instagram on the screen and um, you guys can go check her out. If you're in Dallas, you can train with her, but also just follow her in general um, on her Instagram and her TikTok because she has really good like workout stuff. She also trains virtually, so you guys could hire her there too, but really fun. Um, so yeah, anyways, that was great. Now I have to get on a call. I've just been sitting on the couch for the past like hour. Um, I have a meeting and then today's actually my mom's birthday. So we're gonna go to lunch for her I'm gonna do my artist date today. It's a little bit more Relaxed, so yeah, we'll see I honestly like need coffee right now, but here we are I have a call with my editor about YouTube stuff um, The future of this channel which I'm you know what I think about I think part of it has to be the summer because every summer I Question myself and like what to quit and not want to quit. That's really dramatic I know it's not really what I want to do, but then I'm like, you know what? It's summer it's the time of the year. So do you guys, I don't know. Well, we're gonna chat after I take this meeting, okay? I'll be back. I truly think that I'm the coolest person ever right now because I just got a PR package from Juicy. I cannot wait to wear this set and look at the back. It's so fun. I have so many of the classics and so many colors, but I don't have that many prints, which I love. I probably have like 10 Juicy Couture sets. I never stopped wearing Juicy, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, but like, so cute. Thank you guys so much. I just got ready for the day. I'm going to my mom's birthday lunch. I'm wearing this romper from Princess Polly, my new shoes that I got that I need to lace up better. Um, I need to add my jewelry still, and then I just ran like, Dyson curls my hair for like literally four minutes and that is it. Oh I also did like very very simple like a two-minute makeup look and I like don't like how this happened but like it's so hot out it's not even gonna matter. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. There you go. It's around 11. I've been working from home this morning. I just made myself the biggest coffee. I've been so tired this morning, and I know it's because of the heat. Like last night, I was gonna take myself on my solo artist date, which I'm gonna go on soon. Um, and I got home after my mom's like birthday lunch, and I was so tired. I'm like, there's just no way I can leave the house again. The heat just takes it out of you. But I just think. The heat really takes it out of me, I think even more than the, the next person because I see other people and I'm like, you guys seem fine. So, anyways, I did want to say I made a little bit of a house change. As y'all can probably see over here, I'll probably give you guys a better view if I need to, but I moved my entry table to under the TV and I love it. The only thing is, like, here I have a ton of, like, everything is neutral, obviously, which is what I did. I have a few colorful accessories that aren't going to work there now. Um, and I do want to add in like color. So I'm thinking maybe colorful coffee table books. The only issue is that Fitz chewed up my last coffee table book, so I don't want to keep spending money on them. Um, but now I really do like this. I feel like it's a lot cozier. I don't feel like it's too busy. Let me know what you guys think. It just feels better having something under the TV. I could also put that back as the entry table and then find another one. I just am not seeing the ones that I want and I have a better idea for what I would like over here anyways. I think it'd be cool to do an entry table with like little stools under it that could be colorful or something. I'm not really sure. I wish this camera lens was wider because you could get the vibe. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I definitely feel like it's more fun. And who knows, like I, I'm a definitely a neutral girly, even though I love clothes to be colorful. Sometimes it just depends. I think just through and through I am neutral, so. Let me know what you guys think. It does feel cozier and it doesn't feel crammed in person. It might look crammed on camera, but it doesn't feel that way in person. And then I'm gonna have to get new kitchen table chairs because I hate these and they're like so old and like not cool anymore. But I just, there's, first off, do you know how expensive kitchen chairs are? It's gonna cost me like literally thousands of dollars to replace these. Anyways, this is what I have right now. Um, let me know what you guys think. And obviously I need to like change the coffee table. I just like don't, not the actual coffee table, but the, top of it like what's on it um but i just don't know what i want so we'll see i'm probably gonna do a little bit of online 
shopping for interior stuff. I'm also going to be changing out that print and I want to make it cool and fun. I have some ideas, so I'm going to look at that right now and order a new one and just see because that will obviously make a really big difference. So, All right, I'm about to take myself on a little solo lunch date. This is my, um, what is it, artist date of the week. I'm doing the artist way week one, as you all know. So I'm going to bring my Kindle and my journal. I'm going to journal um, kind of like my assignments and stuff for this week and then read. Just get lunch by myself. It'll be really nice. Um, I do things by myself all the time, but eating alone, ooh, eating lunch or dinner alone feels a lot more like vulnerable than like getting breakfast or coffee alone. Part of me wanted to go to a random restaurant where I knew I wasn't going to run into anyone, but then I was like, no, that kind of defeats the purpose. So I am actually going to go to Honor Bar for lunch, get a little solo lunch date in, and then... Oh, and then after, I'm going to do a little, like, chin thing. My friend Bria did it, Bria Jones. Follow her on everything, specifically YouTube. She's a great YouTube channel. She went to this place, and they basically do, like, a chin reduction, but it's with, like, red light, and I love red light. I think it's red light. They'll explain it there. It's basically non-invasive, and I was like, you know what? I want to try it, so I'm copying her, and I'm going today. Um, but, yeah, about to head out. It's going to be such a good time. Okay, I just got out of the gap. Whew, it is hot. I got the like double chin reduction. I know I don't have a double chin. I just always have this like pouch here that is one of those. Oh, what we said. Speaking of the chin influencer, um, just like it's always here, and I wanted to just see what we could do. You know, it was incredible. Guys, go if you're in Dallas. You need to go. They do like full body scrapes full body sculpting which i'll be doing soon um she's a waitlist until november so get on the waitlist now um because that will actually fly by it's kind of crazy like when i make plans it's wild like how fast this year has gone by you know all right guys i just changed i got home and i'm off to i was gonna say pilates no i'm going to a new boxing studio in dallas it opens officially on august 8th but they're doing some preview classes if you guys watched my vlogs when I lived in LA, I used to go, I don't know why I'm kind of right back. I'm like about to go, that's the whole point. I was gonna get this too. My set is from Amazon. Anyways, if you watched my vlogs in LA um, when I was probably like 20, I used to be obsessed with boxing. I would go to, what is it, I mean? Cities of Angels Boxing, downtown LA. I don't know if it's still open. I went to Alex and I loved it. I basically like wanted to go to a gym where someone was gonna like punch me in the face, you know what I mean? Um, I think this one's more of like a rumble vibe, but I still really like that. I am just like unbelievably sore right now, and I am afraid like if this wasn't something that I committed to and was invited to, and I didn't, I have friends coming with me now, um, I would be backing out because I am sore, and I thought the walk this morning would help, um, but no, it really hasn't, so anyways, about to head out. I really like the new living room setup. It feels cozy, feels good, and it feels right. You know, so heading out, <sighs> guys, like honestly, pray for me. Like obviously you guys are watching this later, but like seriously, just think about this. I'm going to die. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Maybe. We, we don't know. <laughs> just got my um, spray tan. Rose is here. We are outside of the rustic right now getting dinner. It is 9 p.m. This is so late for me. Um, but tomorrow we're leaving for Austin for um, a trip that's technically for my birthday. But like, I just want to feel like a girls weekend, you know, where I'm like taking my friends on a trip. So we're leaving in the morning. I still have to pack. I need to make my PowerPoint because we're having a PowerPoint night. Um, but yeah, that's actually all I have to do. And, but I have to pick up early again. I've been on this early morning thing because I have a 745 dry bar. So we've got some things to do. We'll take you along. Thank God. This is so exciting. Frozen marks? Frozen marks oh. are in the back. Thank God. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. We're currently packing. Uh, Marissa so kindly just folded all my stuff as I threw it all on the ground. This is what I'm wearing for the weekend, I'm thinking. Um, I feel like this is gonna be, oh, I need my pajamas in the other room. I need to grab my suitcase and then put the rest of it in. Of course, we have the cowboy hats for the boats. These shoes also, 
that I got this week from Revolve with slides. I'm like so picky with slides and sandals. These are incredible and these heels are the best heels ever. I went to link them and they're not on the site right now, but any Ray heel, they're so comfortable. All right guys, almost done packing, going to um, shower. Actually, I'm not showering tonight, I forgot because I just got a spray tan. Gonna finish up um, and go to bed, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy this week of my life video. We're gonna have a fun weekend in Austin. If anyone, if you see like an Instagram ad or something where it's like, this is the one thing that cleared my acne, it is BS, like avoid. <laughs> Um, acne is a myriad of factors, some internal, some external. The ones that I'll talk about are the external ones because it's stuff that you've never heard of before. There are filler agents in your makeup, your sunscreen, 